Wasn't this a Tanya episode? Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 6th episode of the show Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 161st episode overall, titled Rangers and the Outfield. We begin this episode with a baseball diamond where Adam and Rocky are practicing with their teammates. Also, Tanya's boyfriend Sean is there. He's up to bat, getting ready to knock it out of the park, which he does immediately. Later on, Tanya shows up saying hi. Adam walks over saying hi, and he talks about how Sean is so amazing at baseball, and she knows nothing about baseball, apparently. She doesn't even know who Babe Ruth is. Then a ball flies at Adam's head, and Tanya catches it, throwing it back. The coach is immediately impressed, and he calls her over. She's kind of nervous, and she goes over, and the coach gives her a mitt, and he asks her to pitch the ball to Sean. She does, and strike one. Of course... Sean has to check his bat to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. She pitches again in strike two. Finally, strike three and Sean is out, throwing his stuff on the ground and stomping away. The coach then asks Tanya what her plans for tomorrow are. Hope this is about practice and not like a date. In space, Mondo and crew are watching this and they say that since the Rangers have time to be playing games, they need to attack. Rocket volunteers to be a part of this. In the study hall, Kat, Adam, and Tanya are together and Kat mentions how Tanya got onto the baseball team now and how impressed they are with her. Then Sean is walking down the stairs in the hallway and he's getting made fun of by a couple of extras about how his girlfriend is better at baseball than him. Okay. Sean then leaves them coming over to the three ranger teams. And Kat asks how Sean must be so proud and he immediately downplays all of Tanya's effort and talent by saying that basically anyone could have hit the ball if it were a real game because it was just practice. What a douche. Kat sticks up for Tanya saying that she'll be ready and they leave. Adam then tells Sean that he and Rocky are meeting at the batting cages before the game tomorrow. And he invites Sean along, and he agrees to come. Then we find out Sprocket's plan. He's going to create a monster that fires out balls, and when the balls are hit, it'll suck the person inside. He thinks that this will get the Rangers easily. Somehow? What if they suck at baseball? Stone is with Bulk and Skull, assigning them Operation Refuse Removal. They immediately find out that they have to pick up trash, and for some reason they're super stoked about it. Cogs then appear near the batting cages, and they start to change the pitching machine. Bulk and Skull then walk by, and after they come in, they decide to hit a couple. Sprocket then sees this, and he's afraid that Bulk and Skull are going to ruin this plan. Sprocket and Clank argue, and then Orbis tells them to shut up and watch. A ball fires out, and Bulk strikes out three times, and Skull makes fun of him. Then Rocky, Sean, and Adam show up. Rocky screams at them to chill out, and he has to break them up from arguing with one another. We then see that Rocky is putting on his batting gloves with the Zeonizer in his backpack. Sean forgot his gloves, so he's leaving, and he'll just show up at the game. Rocky gets ready to practice. Machina then suggests that they just send in the cogs, which Mondo kind of argues with. Then Rocky hits the ball, disappearing. Thank God. Adam freaks out, and we meet the new monster, the People Pitcher. Adam does some awesome dodging before the cogs show up, taking Rocky's backpack and holding Adam back. They get the Zeonizer out of the backpack, leaving. Then the People Pitcher teleports away, too. Dun dun dun. Adam calls Zordon, but Billy answers. He updates him on what's happening, and Billy says that there's a reading on the other side of the park. He tells Adam that the others will meet him there. It's morphin' time. The four rangers show up and they haven't seen the monster at all. Then suddenly, Sprocket shows up with Cogs, Clank, and Orbis, and also the People Pitcher. Things go crazy because the Cogs have the Zeonizer, but Adam is just gonna go on a go-kart. The hell's going on? He then tosses it over to Tanya and all of her fight footage is sped up for some reason. The hell's happening? She tosses it to Cat, who's in a paddle boat for some weird-ass reason. She then tosses it to Tommy, who is driving a Formula One car, and then he gets blasted and sucked into the people pitcher. Tommy shows up with a Zeonizer giving it to Rocky. It's morphin' time for Rocky. They start trying to reverse the cogs in there to get out, and yeah, it works. People pitcher barfs them up, and we see that the Zeo Rangers now are using weapons to fight the monster. Uh, where did those come from? What the hell are they? Then Rocky does a Zeo Ranger 3 power spin, and then all five of them kick the people pitcher, killing him. That was lame. Clank and Orbis come up, making the people pitcher grow giant. Also, Clank is just in a damn go-kart. The Rangers call out their Zeozords, forming the Zeo Megazord immediately. They fight him, and honestly, it's a stalemate of a battle. Rocky gets in control with his battle helmet, using his pyramid power to do gravity things again. Then Tommy gets back in the center, calling out the Zeo Megazord Saber, which, by the way, is the first time I think it's actually been named. They use it and destroy the people pitcher. At the baseball game, Stone Canyon and Angel Grove are playing against each other, and it's the end of the game. Angel Grove is down a bit, and all the Ranger teens are there with Billy, watching. Also, Ernie is commentating the show. Nice to see him doing something again. Then Tanya pitches and the player hits the ball, getting onto base. Next player comes up and Tanya is starting to mess up a little bit. And then she pitches, getting someone else onto a base. Long story short, Angel Grove is sucking. 
Then someone with impressive stats steps up to the bat and Tanya has to strike this dude out. Strike one, strike two, strike three, just kidding. The ball gets hit, goes into the air, and is about to leave the ballpark, but Rocky catches it just in the nick of time. Angel Grove wins! That was oddly satisfying, like could have been way worse. In the celebration, Adam and Tanya are together and Sean comes up and he basically says that Tanya just got lucky for their win. He says, whatever, we'll talk about this later. And Tanya goes off. Yes, Tanya. She tells him that since she joined this team, he's given her nothing but a negative attitude. If he can't support her, then there's nothing else to discuss. Sean says, whatever, leaving. And Adam says that he's proud of her and Tanya is really bummed because she just lost her boyfriend. And Adam reiterates how she stuck up for herself, which is like the coolest thing ever. The others come over celebrating. The end. Over the credits, we have a bunch of bloopers from this episode, and man, I actually kind of love seeing these bloopers. This episode is confusing focus-wise, because it's pretty obvious it's meant to be a Blue Ranger focus episode in Japan, but for whatever reason, they decided to make it about Tanya. Most likely because it's a much more interesting story, and honestly, this episode is on the reasons why I absolutely love and adore Tanya as a character. She's one of the if not the strongest female lead we've had thus far in this franchise. It goes without saying that Tanya wouldn't be nearly as good if Nakia Baris wasn't giving it her all in this performance. I kind of wish Nakia had auditioned and got a role on the show from the start because wow, she's a really good actress. Other than that, like I said, the writing struggles a little bit with the Japanese footage, but really who cares when the final scene shows a ranger team yelling at someone and basically getting dumped for doing the right thing. I mean, it's oddly nuanced for Power Rangers. So how will next episode fare? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.